Welcome YouTube! It's been a week, I think, and I was out on holiday with my parents. We went to the Belgium coast, as normal people do. Nothing too crazy. So, what have we been up to? We have been doing some shooting. You can see me in a new, like, decor. It's not like a new decor, it's just a couch in the studio with the normal backdrop behind it. Put some lines up, three to be precise. And then, uh, yeah, we've been shooting with a client in Liège and there we had, let's say, a little accident. People who follow me on Instagram, they already know about it. One of the strobes, an ELC 500, just fell on the ground. Now, nothing to worry myself about, but when I hit the buttons in the back, Every button, no matter what button I pushed, it just let the strobe fire. So I was like, yeah, no, I'm not gonna try to do something about it. So when you have the strobe, in the end, you have the electrical circuit where you put in the power cord. And for some reason, it just fell on it. Not for some reason, I know the reason I pulled the cable in the extension cord, but hey, everybody can make mistakes, I suppose. And... So it hit it where the cable goes into the stroke and then when I got home I immediately started screwing it open because I wanted to know what was wrong because in the end it's still a strobe of 800 euros and you don't want it to be broken. Um, so yeah I opened it up, looked at it and I saw that the tube where the umbrella goes in was pushing against the electrical circuit so I had to pull it out and tried to bend it again not the wisest decision but yeah we tried it reassembled the strobe put power on it and it still didn't do anything i was like oh no i will probably have to send it in for repairs next day i opened it up again i did the same things I reassembled it again i was like oh no not again it didn't do anything but then when i was looking at it i saw a little slider that was like one millimeter loose i just reattached it put power on it and then i was like oh it gives power again and yeah then each time i screwed a screw in or i did something to reassemble it i put it back in power to make sure that everything was still connected now in the end the strobe is working again everything is working perfectly again except for some scratches on the outside but that's not an issue the only problem is I had <laughs> three little screws over so they're still on my desk I know where they have to go it's normally the electrical circuit where you have the uh, the connections and then you have another one normally this one is screwed on top of that one but yeah now it's loose inside as long as it works it doesn't bother me and it's safe because there's nothing hitting it or anything electrical circuit kind of things so yeah, that strobe is back up and running again. And then, uh, yeah, we did some shoots in the studio. And then normally today, when I'm filming this, we should have been to Brussels for a workshop. But because the weather is like, it's getting pretty cold, seven degrees outside during nighttime. And well, it's no more sunny in Belgium. Today is like cloudy misery, rain, you know the drill. So, yeah, decided to postpone it to somewhere in September. I know it will get colder, but hey, let's just postpone it and make the best out of it later. So yeah, now I will show you a little footage which took me 45 minutes when I was playing around with the stroke, with the assembling, the assembling and all the things. I will shorten it a lot because I don't want you to look at me 45 minutes doing like, screwing things up, screwing things up. So yeah. Enjoy this little footage if you're interested in how I opened it up, how it looks on the inside. Just keep in mind I'm not a certified electrical circuit kind of guy. I just opened it up on my own and just fixed it again on my own. Now, warranty is avoided by that. That's just to be clear about it. If you do something like this, you can be sure that the warranty will be no more valid. So yeah. That's it for now, hope you have something from this, just keep in mind when you're using strokes next to a pool, use sandbags to make sure that the electrical strokes don't go in the water. I didn't film anything because it was a client, but just 
remember it when you're working with electricity and water be safe with these wise, wor wise words i will end this little vlog and then i'll see you when i see you don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you want to stay in touch that's it for now bye bye